on to the next topic now we have something called area of square just like we saw in the previous example about area of a rectangle area of a square is again the region covered by the square so it is nothing but this portion let's say suppose side of a square is 5 cm then for the formula which is there for the area of the square is equal to side into side so if the side of a square is 5 cm you multiply 5 cm by 5 cm and we get 25 cm square or it can also be written as the side square so you could have easily done this as 5 square again you would have got 25 cm square as the answer so just like you have area of a rectangle which is length into breadth here also you have side into side the good part is that here the numbers are only one vis-a-vis -vis a rectangle where you would have two of them as as what as sides let's take a simple problem on squares now suppose you were having a Suppose you were told that all these nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Suppose you were told that these nine squares are equal and equal, when I say equal, I mean equal in area and side of each square is 5 cm find out area of wall solution now we know that area of a square is equal to side square so therefore area of one square any one square you can take is equal to 5 centimeter square is equal to 25 centimeter square now we know that there are in all nine squares and the area of each of these squares is equal area of wall therefore is equal to 9 times area of square why because we know that area of each of these squares is equal so therefore either i can add the area of one of these square 9 times or i can simply multiply the area of one square by 9 i know the area of one square is 25 cm square so therefore the area of the wall is equal to 9 into 25 cm square when I do this multiplication, I would get 225. So the area of the wall is 225 centimeter square. 